हेलो व्यूअर्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ट्रेड वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल द इंजीनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स द रेस्बेरी पाइपिको मॉड्यूल कम्स विद मल्टीपल इनबिल्ट फीचर्स फॉर एग्जांपल जी पी आई ओस ऑन बोर्ड मेमरी प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट्स एट्सेट्रा इन अवर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल्स वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू एक्सेस रेस्बेरी पाइपिकोज जनरल पर्पज इनपुट आउटपुट पिंस फॉर बोथ इनपुट as well as output operations in this tutorial we are going to discuss another important feature of raspberry pi pico module that is the dual core processor the pico board comes with a 133 megahertz arm cortex m0 dual core processor this dual core processor feature of pico board makes it more powerful and capable of multi threading because here each core is using a separate thread of execution a processing core is responsible for executing the program instructions and a multi core processor can execute more than one task at a time which results in increased processing speed as we mentioned earlier raspberry pi pico has two processing cores core 0 and core 1 in default mode the core 0 is responsible for all the program executions and core 1 remains in idle or on standby mode we can also use both the cores at a time to increase the processing speed with proper instructions each core will execute their assigned task independent of each other while sharing some resources like memory space and program code Sharing memory space between two cores can create race conditions which can cause trouble when accessing the memory space is not assured. On the other hand, sharing the program code may sound troublesome but practically it is not because sharing the program code is just a read operation. To avoid the race condition while sharing the memory space, the RP2040 microcontroller which is used in pico board is featured with two fifo structure and each fifo structure for an individual core so that the cores can write their program or codes in their assigned fifo structure while avoiding the trace condition so that's all about the introduction part now let's move towards the programming part here we are using thony ide to program the raspberry pi pico board with micro python programming language we already published a tutorial on how to download and install thony ide for raspberry pi pico programming using micro python programming language now let's write a micro python program to access the dual core feature of raspberry pi pico module now open the thony ide once it is installed successfully connect your pico board with your system click on this micro python icon in the lower right corner and select micro python for raspberry pi pico now in shell section you should see this micro python version which means we are ready to program our pico board now let's write the micro python program in this example code we are going to assign separate tasks for each core and we'll see how the cores execute their task independent of each other so the first task is importing the necessary modules so first we are importing the machine module second module we are importing is new time and third one is the thread so this new time module is used to access the internal clock of raspberry pi pico which is further used to add delay in program execution when required and the thread module is used to implement the threading function provided by the pico module so as here we are using two cores 
and each code is provided with their individual thread of execution. So this thread module is responsible for handling multiple threads simultaneously without causing any trouble or race conditions. Now to maintain the synchronization between multiple threads, this thread module comes with some semaphores which are also known as simple locks which are responsible for maintaining the synchronization and returning new lock objects. So now here we are creating a SP lock object where we are creating the semaphores or simple locks allocate dot lock function it's underscore now let's assign a task to core 1 so here we are creating a function and we are assigning the name as core 1 underscore task we are using while loop so that the assigned task will be executed continuously so here we are using an acquire function log dot acquire this function is used to make sure that only one thread of execution is acquiring the lock or the semaphores at a time and the lock can be assigned to other threads only when the lock is released from the previous thread so now let's assign the task we are using a print command printing a message message from core 1 now let's add some delay of 0 0.5 second and then release the lock dot release so here we are starting a new thread dot start underscore new thread where we are calling the function containing the task for core 1 we can also assign more than one function over here for now we are keeping it single so now let's assign the task for code 0 which is the default one so we are using while loop and here again we need to acquire the lock for another thread that belongs to Course zero again printing a message from core one sorry course zero adding some delay of zero point five second again and then releasing the lock okay here yeah. it's release now let's save the program you can save it either on raspberry pi or your system let's save on raspberry pi pico dual code dot pi Okay. Now let's run the code. We have an error. Let's score one. Run again. Yeah, you can see the messages getting printed in this shell section.
similarly we can take another example where we are adding some peripherals like some leds stop the currently running program before editing the code so now let's import some modules like from machine import pin module to access the gpio pins of raspberry pi pico now let's create some objects for leds we are interfacing say led 0 representing the pin number 14 and the pin mode is output similarly led 1 for core 1 pin number 15 and again the mode is output now let's assign the task for each core the core 1 will make the LED 1 blink with a delay of 1 second so we are using LED dot value command so now let's make it low 0 and then add some delay of 0 0.5 second similarly for core 0 here we are using LED 0 object dot value as 1 and then as low 0 again some delay Now save the current program to a Pico board and click on run. Along with these messages getting printed, you should also see the LED blinking with a delay of 0.5 second. Now let's create the hardware setup for demonstration purpose. This is the setup we prepared for hardware demonstration. The components include a breadboard, one Raspberry Pi Pico board, some LEDs, resistors and jumper wires. Now let's run the program. Now you can see the LEDs blinking with a delay of 0.5 second. The red LED is connected to GPIO 14, which means it is getting controlled via core 0. And on the other hand, the green one is connected to GPIO 15, which means it is getting controlled through core 1. So this concludes the tutorial. We hope you found this of some help and also hope to see you soon with a new tutorial on Raspberry Pi Pico programming. Till then. Goodbye.